morning dish. He's the hardest working man in show business. His band's music takes you into the midnight hours. And when you wake up, his voice is back on your radio alarm clock. How on earth did this happen? Well, Jeff saw me taking out the trash at the radio station. And he won another award. But this one is better. I'm your food man. That's what I am. It's the Morning Dish with the 2019 Radio Personality of the Year winner, Stephen Phillips. You paying attention to this, Packy? And Murphy's own Sherry Rains. Yeah, you must have given horseback passes to the right guy, Stephen. Well, giddy up. <laughs> And Packy Smith's Shetland Pony is right alongside. You guys know these demo tapes don't just edit themselves together, right? Well, all right. Three cheers for Stephen Phillips. Y'all need to help Stephen Phillips out over there. Out the door and off the radio. Here's Stephen Phillips. All right, we're back with you. We have got Scott Inez on with us this morning. He is the voice of, hey, guess what, Scooby-Doo and, golly, the uh, whole Scooby-Doo franchise. God, you got it all, man. Good morning. A little bit of everything. <laughs> What's up, guys? God, we're just hanging out, man. I'm envious. I wish I could. You know, Packy does my voice. Do my voice, Packy. I don't know. I don't know. <laughs> That's my- <laughs> I can do him and I can do Boomhauer and King of the Hill, but it's basically the same thing. Yeah. Jeez. Well, you guys want to come out? We're going to do a Hank Hill tour with Faith Hill. There you oh, go. There it's you the go. Hank and Faith Hill tour. Yeah. There you go. There now you we're go. talking. So, how's the world treating you, man? Looks like you got a lot of stuff going man, on. It's doing good. Oh my God, I'm telling you, it's like Reba McIntyre used to tell me. She said, "Man, I'm busier than a one-legged man in a butt-kicking contest." <laughs> She's a hoot. There's no doubt so about now, it. So now, Scott, are you in Louisiana now? Is that where you live at? I am. Okay. I am. I'm uh, driving to, uh, right now, I got up early to drive to Mandeville, Louisiana. Uh, know where that's I'm working at? on a big festival over there. So, um, Well, eat some etouffee for us. Super... Grab some. Et- what? Eat some etouffee and some boudin for us. Oh, I know, right? Everywhere you go. I just said that yesterday. I went into a restaurant. I was looking at the soups, and it's all, you know, etouffee, gumbo. And I mm-hmm. told the lady, I said, why can't there be just good old-fashioned chicken noodle soup on a on a, on a, a menu? Because you you're know? in Louisiana. Oh, I love Southern that. Louisiana. Oh, I, know, I, know. I love that food, man. I know. Man, you have been on everything. I look, You was on the Tonight Show with Jay Leno, but, I mean, after you're on this show, it's probably going to kill your career, but <laughs> hopefully not. But. <laughs> I don't have a career. <laughs> hey, COVID's killed just about every career in the business, right? That's a daggone so, truth. So, uh, <clears throat> You know, it's pretty bad when you when you when you're having to rely on selling stuff off your website. It's like you wake up every morning and you're like, "Honey, we sold any autographed Scooby Doo pictures?" <laughs> no, damn, I can't go to Starbucks. You know? I would so, think though, doing some voiceovers the way you've done, because not just Scooby Doo, but a lot of animated films, that that would be something that could sustain. I mean, you might be in better shape than somebody who's got to get on live. Well, I'm. As you all will know, I do my, I'm in radio too, you know, and I do my radio show from the house. So, uh, you know, it's all voice tracked and whatnot. I mean, I'm, I love doing the show live, but my company won't let me into the studio. So right. they're like, well, we're, we're projected to be back by 2023. What you doing January 2023? I'm like, well, <laughs> I'm in my Scooby room. <laughs> I'll be sitting in the soup line. So, yep. Yeah, actually. Yeah, I probably will be. I'm actually looking at your website, onescottshop.com. That's yep. pretty cool. And you got merchandise yeah, on got, there and uh, information. I got all my paintings and everything. So please, anybody that loves <laughs> He needs Starbucks. Provide. I'm reading here at the top. <laughs> I have, yeah. At the top I have of your to website. This in, my, in, my, in my Scooby voice, you're like, like, hey, all you groovy cats and gals out there. Yeah, oh boy. <laughs> so I go to one shop.com and buy something right now. <laughs> hey, you got some cool stuff on there. There ain't no doubt about it. But yeah. I'm looking at the top here. It says bag is empty. So I don't open bag. That means you got to put something in the bag, oh, okay. Stephen. Yeah, that'll work. <laughs> so, so how Brain did, is empty. Do you take a check? Do y'all take checks or? <laughs> Just say yeah. no. Just oh, okay. I like you already. <laughs> You want when you get my check back the third time. <laughs> yeah. Hey, I was reading here, man. I'm kind of envious of you. You know, you got the uh, country music for on-air personality of the year in 1999, not to mention a bunch more stuff. That's pretty cool. Did that help your credit any? Listen, I, my dad, I told my dad, I said, you know what's pretty sad is I've won every award in, in radio. And I said, when I die, 
If I died today, my wife would be selling those at a yard sale. <laughs> Nobody cares. You know, we care. Right. But, but you know, it's like it'd be a doorstop somewhere. My son told me, literally, uh, Josh, he's a big sports radio personality in Houston. And he called me and said, Dad, look, make sure now you will me the CMA award or the Marconi because I'm going to use them as doorstops uh, in, the, in the house. And I'm like, yeah, and I know you will, too. He said, no, I'm serious. That's what I'm going to use them for. Well, I'd, I'd make sure that's all he got. This is it. Well, this is what you wanted out of You're not going to tell him about your award, Stephen, that you got this nah, year? No, I don't brag. Steven, he's our... got an award. <laughs> he won an award for the what is it? The pers- I, got, I got the 2020 Gabby here in uh, personality of the year. <laughs> <laughs> and we've heard about it every day. Yeah, for I take six it with months. me, and I take yeah. pictures with it on my on different places around the world. <laughs> you know, well, that that, that's what us radio people do. You know, I was watching. I was looking at some behind the scenes filming of this, uh, of my cousin Vinny, and. Uh, he said that when Joe Pesci started the first day of filming for uh, My Cousin Benny, he had just arrived overnight, 3 a.m. in the morning, from the awards, the Academy Awards, where he got the Academy Award for Goodfellas. Right. And so he had his award with him, and they said he passed out on the set, you know, back there with a little blanket, and they said they all they had a scene that they needed that exact type of shot in, and they were just going to film him sleeping, but he was <laughs> sleeping with his Academy Award. And uh, they said... They just couldn't put the Academy Award into this shot. So. <laughs> but you know, like some people don't know about Joe Pesci. He's actually a music guy. He's a he likes he's a, in the music. Yes. Yeah, and, and that's yeah, he what... did an album. In fact, uh, uh, eight years after my cousin Benny, and he called it uh, I forgot what it was, Mister Gambino, whatever his character's name was. Right. But now you're, uh, you're also yeah, he is. you're a songwriter too, though. I write songs. I'm. Uh, you know, I like to sing. I do a little bit of everything, man. I run a mean pressure washer business. I'll do anything <laughs> to make a buck these days. Steven, this sounds but, like uh, your yeah, twin. I, I, wrote, I wrote Handprints on the Wall for Kenny Rogers, The Paper Heart for Sammy Kershaw. Oh, I know that Oh, wow. Um, I just read, uh, co-wrote, well, co-wrote with a partner of mine down here the, the song that was out last year uh, called Free Bird in the Wind for Shenandoah. Yeah. And that's a uh, it's a tribute to the Leonard Skinner plane crash. And I uh, actually wrote that song, Pity the Nose of the Plank Came to Rest. So uh, that was pretty cool. Yeah. So, yeah, I do a little bit of everything, you know. I mean, it's, me and, it's me and fun, the, you know. We, we love what we do. Do you know Rick Farrell that wrote the uh, the barbecue song for uh, Tim McGraw? Uh, I got a barbecue stain on my white there. T-shirt. Anyway, yeah, me and him is. We're right. Me and him's writing a song together. It's called "Go Ugly Early," man. I think it's going to be a hit. It's called what? "Go Ugly Early." <laughs> <laughs> I love it. I love it already. Yeah, I think it's going to be a hit. <laughs> we just like the bridge is all we like, but I want to leave it out. But anyway, who knows? yeah. Mm-mm-mm. We yeah. need to be writing a song about the world today called "What the Hell Is Going On." Yeah. Hey. <laughs> Paul Thorne's done got that one. He's already got that and wrote. So, uh, but anyway. Jeez. So, how did you get into so here's the, some, uh, do what now? Go ahead. Go ahead. Uh, no, go ahead. How did you get into the, uh, being the character voice? I mean, is that something you went to apply for or somebody just heard you talking or what? Yeah, I went, I went down to the unemployment office and I said, what do you got? <laughs> well, we got a dog voice. <laughs> no. Um, man, right place, right time. I was here in Baton Rouge doing radio afternoons. And, uh, if you remember, the Alabama, the group of Alabama had a song at the time back in like mid nineties called Shaggin' on the Boulevard. Yeah. Remember? And uh I had an afternoon show called Cartoons, so ironically. So I went in and did a parody of that song, you know, We'll be dancing Shaggy on the Boulevard <laughs> and redid it to, to that and a buddy of mine called, uh, who had heard it in LA and said, Man, you need to audition for Scooby Doo and Whatever, and I'm like, well, you know, Don Messick's the voice of Scooby Doo, and they're like, well, you're friends with him, right? I said, yeah. And I said, but I haven't talked to him in like eight or nine months. Said, well, he had a stroke, man. He ain't doing that stuff no more. Yeah. I said, what? So, long story short, I ended up auditioning and went over a series of three weeks, and I finally I, I beat out Dave Couille, my buddy Dave Couille from Full House, Uncle Joey, cut it out, and I uh, got the part. Next thing you know, I'm in L.A. There'll be Scooby Doo on Zombie Island. I'm sitting next to Adrian Barbeau and Mark Hamill, oh, wow. and uh, you know, sandwiched right between them. And you know, it's one of those moments in your life, a serendipity moment, where you're like, okay, 
uh, somebody pinch me. This is great. Yeah, you know, I can imagine. I'm always at the wrong. So it was pretty cool. Wrong place at the right time. It's like, oh, we just give that job to somebody. Else. Hey, that could be a country song too. Yeah, at the wrong place. Right. Yeah, I guarantee it. <laughs> don't encourage him, please. Yeah, don't encourage him. <laughs> Jeez. <laughs> Folks, y'all need to go to the one Scott shop dot com. He has got some good stuff. And as far as the now will you sign if I want to get to like if I ordered some of this stuff? Yes, it all comes signed. Everything comes signed. It, it, yeah, it's all signed. So in fact I got a, a lady sent me a text this morning. She goes, Do you really sign your stuff or do you auto sign it? I said, Honey. If I ever reach the day that where I'm auto signing stuff, I won't even be answering this call. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> no. So yeah, it all comes hand signed. It's got DNA all over it. <laughs> Y'all want to hear a plethora of these uh, these characters that I do? Yes, I was going to ask yep. how many times people come up to you and say, "Just do Scooby Doo." These are all the characters that I have officially done for Hanna Barbera. Well, hello, I'm Droopy Dog. And I'm so mad, I can scream, and I will, too. <laughs> See? <laughs> uh, heavens to Murgatroyd. This is Snagglepuss. What's going on? This is Sage Exit. Left. Hey, Mr. Flintstone. Yeah, but dabba do. This is Fred Flintstone. Bonnie, tonight you and I are going bowling. All right. <laughs> we'll take Betty and Bam Bam. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, right. That's right. And, and, and I may come with them, too. You know, I'm Boo Boo Bear. And I'm Yogi Bear. You know, we live in Jellystone and uh, 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 Yogi. That's me. Uh, we're stealing picking a capacitor. Nay. Well, blow me down. Will you look at that? This is Papa Papa Smurf. And careful, guys. No blue humor. <laughs> Oh, well, howdy, this here is quick draw me crawl on the fastest gun in the West. And I'm Baba Louie. I'm quick draw sidekick. Be careful you get Al Caban. And I, I know where I get it on the jet And I'm always be six years old. Ain't that right, Astro? That's right, Raj. Oh, boy. Stop that. You're stubborn all over me, Astro. Like I tell you, man, don't forget about us. <laughs> right, Scoob? Yeah. Oh, boy. Scooby Dooby Doo and Scrappy Doo Doo. Da 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 da. Puppy Power. Oh my Good gosh. Good Lord, man. That is unreal. So let me yeah, ask I got you. got a few of them. So when you're getting all romantic with your wife, does she ever <laughs> want you to act like, hey, can you talk like Popeye tonight or something? Well, no, let me see where that goes. <laughs> <laughs> no, 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 that's I enough. Bet. I know, yeah, yeah, I didn't mean it that way. Uh, <laughs> yeah, it's funny. Okay, you know what I do is I throw a little uh, Jack Nicholson at her. You know what I'm saying? Now you go. Uh, you ever dance with the devil in the pale moonlight? Now you talk about all my prick, You know. <laughs> See, I, 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 one time I, I surprised her with Paul Harvey, and that didn't go. Over. No, I'm sure. <laughs> <laughs> no, but I'm can you do Paul Sam? Harvey. Can you do Sam you know Elliott? Sam Elliott. If you can do Sam Elliott. Sam Elliott. No, I can't. I'm not really a Sam Elliott. Uh, but I'll tell you what I'll give you. Can you imagine you're making love and you throw her some Rush Limbaugh? Be like this. <laughs> and the uh, fact of the matter is, you see, the, 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 the talent I love from God. Now, I was talking to the, uh, the, the Clintons today, and I got to tell you that the, the EIB radio network is, 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 is working with the Trump administration on uh, a lot of stuff, and uh, we'll tell you about it a little bit later. I love it. <laughs> I can't talk about You could get people in so much trouble. On? No, you could get people in so much trouble. We need to talk privately. I need you to do Steven's voice. Yeah, I see it. <laughs> done got that. Scott, we got to get to a break, I uh, got a call. Do what now? I got a call from Dolly Parton one time, and she asked me if I would voice this brand-new ride that she was putting in Dollywood. It was 15 years ago. And uh, I said, well, what do you got in mind? So it's called River Battle. And it's a ranger. You never see him, but he's always on the PA warning all the people standing in line that they're going to get wet on this ride, that the beavers are damming up the the, the, the river. And, you know, it's going to be a wet deal. So I said, well, what kind of voice do you want? He said, well, I, we kind of like the shaggy type voice. And I said, well, and then a guy was on the other line. He goes, Scott, it's really more like a Barney Fife type, you know. And I said, well, then why don't we just give him Barney Fife without all the catchphrases? And he's like, okay, how would that sound? Well, this is Ranger Roger. <laughs> yeah. 
You're going to get wet on this ride. I'm telling you right now, the beavers are jamming things up up there and it's going to hell with hands <laughs> Yeah. <laughs> I love it. Scott, I hate it, man. we got to get you back on. We have got to get to a break, man. We have run out of time. You need to tell them where to get up with you now. All right, man. One ScottShop.com. That's O N E ScottShop.com. And then my radio voice, boy, a void were prohibited by law except for the state of California. Go there and buy lots of crap and put it in your basket and use your credit card because, frankly, we're broke. There you go. <laughs> I'm with you, man. I appreciate you calling in. We we'll oh, have to get you back Scott. on, man. You're just a wealth of knowledge. <laughs> With all the stuff that's well, going on. Well, call me back sometime, and I'll tell you the time I had I, lunch with Conway Twitty. I was the last one to have the day he died. Oh, oh really? I want to hear about that. We'll be, yeah, we can be, we get you back. I was the last you. dinner. I don't know if I'm proud of that or not. But, uh, that, was, uh, that was it. So, mm-hmm. All right, man. Listen, thank you very much, Scott. That was you awesome. guys have a great day, a blessed day. See you later. You too. Right, you bud. too. Thank you for listening. This is Stephen Phillips, host of The Morning Dish. Please subscribe to our YouTube channel because we have a lot more interviews out there to listen to. Plus, you can listen online every morning at WJULradio.com or Lake 97.7 WJUL. And give us a like on our Facebook page, The Morning Dish.